Just like in the denary system, fractions can be represented in binary as well. The only real difference is that the decimal point is called a binary point, but the logic is exactly the same. So how do we get the value of each column in denary? We know that the first column is always 1, regardless of which number base we're in. Then, for each subsequent column, we multiply the current column by the base of our number system. So the second column is 10 times 1, then 10 times 10, then 10 times 100, and so on. To get the value of the columns to the right of the decimal point, we follow the same pattern. We divide the current column by 10 to get the value of each subsequent column, giving us 1 tenth, 1 hundredth, 1 thousandth, and so on. Binary works the exact same way. The first column is worth 1 as always. Then we get the value of each subsequent column by multiplying the current column by the base of the number system, giving us 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 4, and so on. Moving to the other side of the binary point, the pattern continues as we divide by 2, giving us a half, a quarter, an eighth, and so on. So 1.1 will be 1 plus a half, 1 and a half. 1.01 will be 1 plus a quarter, 1.25. And 1.11 will be 1 plus a half plus a quarter, 1.75. It is generally easier to convert into fractions rather than decimals. So 1.11 will be 1 and 3 over 4. When we convert this way, the conversion becomes much simpler. Let's look at an example. We can quickly find the denary equivalent of 1.101001 using a two-step method. The denominator is decided by the least significant bit, which is the one furthest to the right. The first column after the binary point is 1 over 2, then 1 over 4, 1 over 8, all the way to 1 over 64. So the denominator is 64. If we now look at the value of each column and convert them to have the same denominator, then we can see that the enumerators resemble the standard binary columns. So all we need to do to find the enumerator is convert the number on the right of the binary point into denary, giving us 1 and 40, 1 over 64. Let's see this again. 101.0100101010. 1, 1, Change all denominators to the largest value and adjust the enumerators. Find the columns where there is a 1 and add up the selected columns. We have 5 and 75 over 256. If you would like to learn about negative numbers in binary or how normalized floating point works, click on these videos. To practice conversion for yourself, visit BitBinary by clicking on the link below.